Hey, okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about some things you can do to really set yourself up for success in 2021. Let's face it, 2020 was a crazy year. And now that we're moving into a new one, it's the perfect time to hit the reset button and implement some new habits into your daily routine that are gonna help you take that new year's motivation and actually do something with it and create real lasting change in 2021. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, CEO and co-founder of Boss Babe. Now, if you are new here, this channel is all about supporting ambitious women. I share no BS, straight to the point strategies on building a personal brand, growing on social media and starting or scaling your online business. So if you're into that, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and join our amazing growing community of Boss Babes just like you. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite strategies that have helped me create lasting change in my life, especially around New Year's because let's face it, New Year's resolutions only mean so much if you're not actually executing and taking action on them. The strategies I'm gonna share with you are really gonna help you to actually take action on your goals for this year and stay consistent doing it. I'm personally gonna be implementing all of these strategies and make sure to watch until the very end of this video because I'm gonna be doing a little 90 day challenge that I would love for you to join me on. So the first thing, which is probably not gonna come as a surprise if you know me, but it's declutter your space. I I am all about organization and having things neat, tidy, and in the right place. But it's really important that at the beginning of the year, you start how you mean to go on, especially when you're sitting down to get clear on your vision and write your goals. I don't know about you, but if I'm sitting in a messy space, my head's messy, I'm not thinking clearly, and I'm certainly not thinking and creating from the highest version of myself. So it's really, really important that you start to clean up the space in which you're gonna sit and journal and set your goals and all the things I'm gonna share with you, okay? You know, after the holidays, things might be a little bit crazy, so I encourage you, put some time in your calendar, put your favorite music on, declutter the space around you. Tidy space, tidy mind. I really, really believe that. So make sure you do that. And everything I'm about to share with you is gonna be so much easier with a cleaner space. Next, you're gonna to wanna to write your goals down. So the way that I want you to do this is pull out a big blank piece of paper and think about, okay, by you know December 31st, 2021, I want to have accomplished dot, 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 and start to just like brain dump everything that you want to have accomplished on that piece of paper, everything and anything, just brain dump it down. And you're going to start to see a pretty solid vision form of what you want your 2021 to look like, okay? So really spend time doing that and mapping it out. Then once you've done that, you're going to pull out another piece of paper and draw lines across and down the page so that you've got four segments to the page. Now, taking a look at this big brain dump you've done of everything that you want to accomplish, I want you to start splitting it out into quarters. So at Boss Babe, we work in quarters, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, okay? And so what we'll do is we'll transfer our goals into these quarterly areas. It's more digestible. I know what I'm working towards in the next three months. So start to pull things out and write them in a quarter and just, you know, cross them off this big board as you go along. So the big kind of brainstorm of goals you've got beside you, as you take one off and write it down and say Q1, you're going to cross it off the big one so that you're going to really work through, make sure you've got none of those things left and everything's being accounted for. Then I want you to revert back to this piece of paper with all the four quadrants and all of your goals on there. And I want you to go through with a fine tooth comb and make sure that you actually want to accomplish these things and you're not just putting them there for the fun of it, which sounds crazy, but you'd be surprised. Too often we get this excitement around overachievement and all the possibilities and we look at them, we're like, I actually don't know if I care about hitting these goals. So really go through one by one do I care about hitting this goal? Is Q1 the right place for me to hit this goal? Am I taking on way too much? Am I taking on not enough? Really go through and get clear on that, okay? Once you've done that, you should end up with four quadrants and all of these goals. Then I want you to go through each of these quadrants. So Q1 is January, February, March. I want you to go through and I want you to label it January, February, or March, okay? So let's say you have five goals written down. You might do one in January, so you'll put J or January beside that. You might do two in February and you'll start to map out. So by the time you've gone through this whole board, this whole process, you'll have a month beside each goal that you're gonna accomplish it, right? Which basically takes this big mind map that you've created, this big brain dump, and actually distills it into something that's workable and that you've got a really clear idea of. And then the third thing that I wanna share with you is the real power of journaling. So you've got this vision of what you wanna achieve, all of these goals you wanna achieve, and there's 
part of you that is gonna need to change in order to hit these goals. And this is where journaling comes in. So I want you to work on two journaling prompts. The first one is, what do I need to let go of in order to hit these goals? And the second one is, how do I show up to magnetize these goals in 2021? So the first one, what do I need to let go of in order to achieve these goals might be procrastination, self-doubt, that full-time job that I'm clinging on to, whatever it is, there's something that you're gonna need to let go of if all of these goals are actually gonna happen. So I want you to write this prompt down and go away and think about it. Spend some time just in silence, grab a cup of tea and sit and journal on what you need to let go of. And then the second part, how do I need to show up in order to magnetize this to me, right? We're not talking about pushing and, you know, hustling towards these goals. It's about showing up and allowing what's possible, okay? So so when you're doing this journaling prompt and you're thinking, how do I show up to magnetize these goals to me? It's maybe I show up more consistently. I create better boundaries. I have a morning ritual, okay? Really think about who do you need to be and how do you need to show up to make sure these goals that you've mapped out become a reality. I am telling you these three things, clearing your space, getting clear on your goals and journaling on what you're letting go of and what you're calling in are gonna be an absolute game changer when it comes to planning 2021. If you're ready to reset your life and make your New Year's resolutions a reality, I have a reality check for you. The truth is most people don't actually follow through with their resolutions and it is not because they are not motivated. It's simply because they don't put the systems in place to set themselves up for success. We have created a 90 day planner that is specifically designed to help you plan your days, track your goals, and take action on the things that are gonna move you forward. This 90 day planner is usually $50, but because we wanna help make 2021 your best year yet, we are offering you the chance to get four planners at just $97. So if you're interested, you can get them in the link in the description below. Make sure you hurry though, because I know for sure that these are gonna sell out fast. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. And if there are any topics that you want to know about, you want me to talk about, or you have some questions for me, then just drop a comment in the comment section below and let's make 2021 our absolute best year yet. I will see you next week.